Leading Businesses, Leading Communities, presented by the Northern Kentucky Chamber of Commerce in partnership with Insight. Sponsored by St. Elizabeth Healthcare and hosted by the President of the Northern Kentucky Chamber of Commerce, Steve Stevens. Welcome to Leading Businesses, Leading Communities. This program is produced in partnership with Insight and made possible through the sponsorship of St. Elizabeth Healthcare. St. Elizabeth brings the best thinking from around the globe right here to Northern Kentucky. Because the human specialists at St. Elizabeth Healthcare believe that each person in our community should have access to world-class care throughout every stage of life. St. Elizabeth Healthcare, the best of what's human and humanly possible. The Northern Kentucky Chamber involves our members in the top local business, civic, and community priorities. Our economy is driven by businesses of all types and sizes. This program showcases three leading businesses that are members of our chamber to help you get to know our business community better. Our first guest is Dr. Charles Breen, an ophthalmologist with offices in Florence and Covington. Dr. Breen has built his practice with the goal of treating patients with best-in-care practices. Did you know that there are two types of eye doctors? Perhaps you didn't realize there is a difference between an ophthalmologist and an optometrist. Ophthalmologists like Dr. Breen, are medical doctors with special training to diagnose and treat all diseases of the eye. Ophthalmologists are responsible for your total eye care, and they offer services that include regular eye care and vision services, including eye exams, surgical eye care, including refractive surgery, cataracts, macular degeneration, glaucoma, medical eye care, including glaucoma, chemical burns, and dry eye eye diseases, and injury prevention services. So we look forward to learning more from Dr. Breen. A new segment to our show is called Business Made Simple, and it will help identify issues facing business and help clarify how best to address them. The segment will feature Paul Alley, an attorney with Graydon Head, Michael Dempsey, financial advisor with Robert W. Baird, and Don Fritz, CPA with Von Lehman & Company. Many of our local businesses have questions about legal and financial issues facing their companies. Sometimes the answers are as simple as knowing who to call and how to get started. Our third guest today is Ted Kester with Herzog Jewelers, located in Fort Mitchell. Since 1922, Herzog Jewelers has provided customers with unmatched jewelry selection and exceptional value. As a family-owned business with three generations of jewelry experience, Herzog Jewelers pride themselves in building close, lasting relationships with customers. As a registered jeweler with the American Gem Society, Herzog Jewelers represents a standard of excellence. Today on our health and wellness segment will be Edward Dabrakowski, System Director, Rehabilitation Professional Services at St. Elizabeth Healthcare. St. Elizabeth Rehabilitation Services assists patients of all ages to improve functional performance that has been impaired by disease, physical injury, surgery, or developmental delay. Rehabilitation services, through the continuum of care, strives to help patients regain and maintain their highest level of function. Services include audiology and speech pathology, hand, physical, and occupational therapy, and sports medicine. Our health and wellness segment is sponsored by Humana, a leading health care company. Humana offers a wider range of insurance products and health and wellness services to help people achieve lifelong well-being. So let's get started. Debbie Simpson with Multicraft and a member of our board of directors will lead us off by introducing us to our three leading Northern Kentucky businesses. So Debbie, take it away. Thanks, Steve. Today we're going to meet Dr. Charles Breen, a local ophthalmologist. Welcome to the show, Dr. Breen. Thank you. Can you tell me where your office is located? Do you have more than one? And what are their hours of operation? We do, we have two locations one in Florence and one in Covington. The Florence location is the primary location and is open five days a week. The office in Covington is open on Tuesdays. And we have full hours with extended hours on Mondays in Florence. Wonderful, and what types of services do your physicians provide? We provide eye care at a higher level, which includes surgery and laser treatments, and, uh, and other types of treatment. Uh, the conditions we treat uh, include cataracts and glaucoma, diabetes, macular degeneration, and injuries to the eye. Do you also do LASIK? We do. Great. 
Um, and do you see patients of all ages, or do you have a limit um, as to how young of a patient you'll see? No, no, we see patients of all ages down to the newborn level, and uh, we try to get people in quickly. Uh, we usually get people in the same day uh, if they have a problem or see them immediately if they have an emergency. Boy, that's good to know because when you have an emergency, you have an emergency, don't you? And if it's your eye, you, you, you need to do something about it right away. Absolutely. So are you able to treat most people the same day or do they have to come back for a second appointment? No, we try to do treatments the same day whenever possible. And we try to minimize the total number of visits, the follow-up visits for people. And if they need surgery, is that something, do you always do it in your office or do you have another surgery location? Well, we, we do some procedures in the office, the, the minor procedures, but some major eye surgeries, like cataract surgery for instance, require a sterile environment and we have to do those in an operating room. And we do those surgeries at St. Elizabeth and Edgewood at their surgery center. If someone has an eye emergency, is there anything that they should do? I, I would say the easiest thing to do is just to call our office number, honestly. Um, we have, uh, for instance, an answering service for after hours when the office is closed. So an operator will, will come on no matter what time of day it is within minutes and, and get us connected. And we take all the call for the emergency room. So. Uh, you know, there are some cases where it's appropriate to go directly to the emergency room and then the emergency room physician would call us. But in, uh, in many cases, it, things can be handled in the office. Great. What about vision insurance? If a patient does not have vision insurance, will you still see them? Absolutely. Actually, vision insurance is not required to see us. About 95% of the cases that we see uh, go under just general medical insurance. And then we have provisions for people that don't have insurance. So you would set up payment plans for those if they needed it? Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, Dr. Breen, thank you for coming on here today and telling us about your services. We'll be right back after this break. The anatomy of the eye. It takes someone special to fully understand its complexity. Dr. Charles J. Breen, ophthalmologist in Northern Kentucky, invites you to a free diabetic screening once a month at two convenient locations, St. Elizabeth Covington or St. Elizabeth Grant County. Retinal pictures will be taken for those with diabetes. Call 859-824-8104 for an appointment. Dr. Charles J. Breen is experienced, passionate, knowledgeable, and provides the best possible eye care. One look at him, and you know that small can be mighty. Because at just two days old, he can take your breath away. At St. Elizabeth Healthcare, we focus an entire team of specialists on neonatal care. And we support them with the best technology and all private rooms. We believe every baby deserves as much, no matter how small. St. Elizabeth Healthcare, the best of what's human and humanly possible. I want to share with you some important updates regarding the 2012 Kentucky Legislative Session, the Chamber's top focus areas and priorities for the year, along with some exciting changes happening at the Chamber. First off is the 2012 Legislative Session, where we will certainly see both challenges and opportunities. The Kentucky General Assembly has a mountain to climb. Redistricting and the budget will consume lots of time and energy because lawmakers must find a way to balance the budget by overcoming a large deficit. Northern Kentucky has capital needs that are investments which will provide opportunities for future growth. Northern Kentucky has consistently shown that investments of state dollars right here provide one of the highest returns on investment anywhere in the Commonwealth. If and when money is available, our projects need funding. But it's not all about funding. Northern Kentucky has a plan known as its jobs package that contains a variety of legislative initiatives to incentivize business growth. We're optimistic that with the help of our lawmakers, we will see many of these passed. I also want to update you regarding the Chamber's top focus areas and priorities for the year. 
Supporting activities and initiatives that assist our members grow should be job one. This comes in a variety of forms, from working in Frankfurt on legislation to assist companies with employment issues, through our workforce talent solutions, to helping businesses identify new markets where they can do business abroad. Air service improvements at CVG are high on our list, and we continue to spend staff time and financial resources working to increase air service frequency and destinations. The future rebuilding of the Brent Spence Bridge must also continue to move forward. It's time for an honest and practical discussion on how to best finance this project. Let me clearly state that the Northern Kentucky Chamber has not taken a position in support of tolling. But this option, as well as other alternative forms of financing the project, must be on the table and the discussion needs to be conducted between parties who want to find a practical solution. Finally, I want to share some exciting changes coming to your Northern Kentucky Chamber. During the past year, talented new staff members have joined our Chamber team, increasing our ability to provide superior customer service, programming, and events for our members. We continuously review our operations, improving and retooling them in order to become one of the most efficient and effective Chambers in the country. And speaking of increasing our capabilities, a renovation will soon be underway in the Chamber's primary meeting rooms and the lobby, much needed since we've been at the Chamber Center since 1999. A need for new technology improvements and creating more versatile and user-friendly spaces are the primary drivers for this project, plus the 1,000 members or more and special guests and visitors who come through our doors monthly will see a space that has new energy and business capabilities that will make doing business there easier. With the support of a strong professional staff and a committed and active volunteer base, this will be a landmark year in the history of the Northern Kentucky Chamber as we continue leading businesses and leading communities. I hope you will join me in looking forward to an exciting and prosperous 2012. Well, right now we need to take a short break, and when we come back, stay tuned for our new business focus segment. So, don't go away. Where can I go to ensure economic vitality and business opportunities? Where networking and business contacts are provided to grow my business. Where workforce solutions are provided. Where I can connect with others on important business issues and community needs. To get cost-saving benefits from other businesses in the area. Where I can publicize my business in Northern Kentucky. Join the Northern Kentucky Chamber of Commerce. Leading businesses, leading communities. And now, another adventure with Savings Man. Oh dear, I can't afford that. Charge it. You can pay it off later. Not so fast, credit card guy. Savings man. Don't let him entice you, ma'am. Credit card guy can lead you to big trouble. You need a savings plan. You're right, savings man. Get this ballpark estimate worksheet at choosetosave.org. It will help you get started. Gee, thanks, savings man. No, thank you. So visit choosetosave.org and get your ballpark estimate today. Hi, I'm Don Fritz from Von Lehman & Company and I'd like to welcome you to the February edition of Business Made Simple. Every month in this segment, we address basic questions from a legal, accounting, and financial point of view. Please be advised that none of us are giving professional advice, and from a legal perspective, I must point out that this is an advertisement. We all suggest that you contact your own accountant, attorney, or financial advisor for specific advice. This month, we're going to continue our discussion of getting started and I'm joined by Paul Alley, an attorney with Graydon Head & Ritchie, and Mike Dempsey, a director with Robert W. Baird. To reach a new goal, we suggest the company prepare a business plan, a roadmap to a successful destination. This can apply to not only startup companies, but to companies looking to expand. One of the most important aspects of the business plan is the source of the funds to finance the plan. Mike, would you agree with that? I would agree with that, Don. Um, many good ideas don't get off the ground because of a lack of financial backing, planning, knowing who your investor group is and how to drive the business plan. Where you start is your own financial position. Where we help add value to our clients is, is we help them, give them the tools to evaluate their, their risk, their leverage on their personal balance sheet and decide whether they need an outside investor. If they do need an outside investor, there's generally four ways that I know of you can go. You can use a bank, and generally they're going to require collateral on any type of lending they do. 
an angel investor. So this is someone who's a high net worth investor, might be a family member, a friend, someone like that. Small business administration, who locally I think do a great job. Or venture capital. Venture capital is professional investors who are looking to invest in your business, looking to take on either ownership or a specific rate of return or both. Thanks, Mike. I'd like to briefly go over the items that we think would be in a good business plan. First is the executive summary, which would have your objectives, your mission, and your keys to success. That would be followed by a company summary and then a detail of your products or services. Then you would have a market analysis and then a discussion of your key management. Finally, you would have a financial plan. The last item would be the appendix, and that would contain all the critical documents to support all the detailed sections. And Paul, when would you typically get involved with the business plan? Well, Don, typically the, the attorney won't be involved in the actual drafting of the business plan, but there are certainly issues that should be discussed with the attorney at that stage. For instance, if there are investors or, or partners, you'll want to meet with the attorney to discuss the appropriate investment documents and terms. Sometimes the issues you deal with in the later governance documents are the very same issues that you have to deal with in the early planning, such as distribution of funds. I do encourage someone who's doing a startup to speak with an attorney fairly early because it will tend to clarify the planning process. A common, a common thing that often comes up is uh, the need for an employment agreement or a non-compete agreement to protect key personnel. Um, oftentimes people won't think about that on the front end and later when you get in the give and take of negotiation it can really slow things down. Thank you. Well thank you for being with us and for Paul Alley and Mike Dempsey I'm Don Fritz and we look forward to seeing you at March at the next issue of Business Made Simple. Thank you. at work maybe we should get one too hold on there savings man using your bonus to secure your future by paying down debt or saving is a better way to go well i declare you're right savings man stay ahead by choosing to save and don't worry about keeping up with the joneses but their name is johnson for more tips and tools visit choose to save.org today enhancing the economic vitality and quality of life in the community takes more than just growing businesses it takes partnership Business builds business. By connecting you to other business leaders, the Chamber of Commerce creates a stronger, more dynamic business climate that can make a difference in your success and your future. Join the Northern Kentucky Chamber of Commerce today. Call 859-578-8800. Leading businesses, leading communities. Welcome back. Now we will meet Ted Kester with Herzog Jewelers. Welcome to the show, Ted. Thank you. I understand this is Herzog Jewelers' 90th year in business. It is our big anniversary year. Well, it's quite an accomplishment. Congratulations. Over these 90 years, has Herzog Jewelers specialized in anything? Uh, since 1922, we specialized in helping people mark moments in their lives. Most people give an important gift of jewelry for birthdays, anniversaries, birth of children, or engagement rings. Um, even though we've been in business for 90 years, we're still trying to stay current with the current fashion trends. Uh, for Northern Kentucky, we offer one of the largest selection of engagement rings and loose diamonds. We also offer a nice selection of Waterford and Zavasi crystals for giftware. So what we do is try to be the one-stop store for your jewelry needs. We offer full-service repair, uh, full-service restringing of pearls. Pretty much anything a jewelry store can do, we can do it for you. Do you have any particular core strength or focus? I'd say our core strength is our customer service attitude, ability to get things done. Over the last 90 years, we've developed a lot of experience, a lot of emphasis on customer service. If you can dream it or ask it, we can pretty much get it done for you. We can make that decision right away. Um, our core strength is listening to the customer, seeing what they want, and suggesting to them what would the best alternative be for their choice. 
Does Herzog carry any national brands? We do. We carry some of the best brands in the world. We carry Hearts and Fire, which is the world's most perfectly cut diamond. We carry Decori, Scott K, Roberta Coyne, Core, and Metalsmiths, just to name a few. Most of the brands we carry are national from the bridal or to the fashion or to the everyday sterling lines. Um, we're always keeping and looking for new brands and, uh, for fashion to stay up with the current trends and styles. Do you offer people the ability to um, have custom jewelry made or to rework an older piece of jewelry? We do. We do a lot of custom jewelry work. Everyone on our team can do custom jewelry. Uh, most of the custom jewelry work we do is for engagement. A lot of people want a one-of-a-kind ring or they want a special ring using grandmother stones or they can't make a decision. So we'll take a piece of one ring, the bottom of another, and make it for them. The other type of custom work we do is a lot of I call recycling. A lot of people have jewelry in their drawers they don't wear anymore, and jewelry should be worn. So they'll bring it in, we'll uh, evaluate all of it, decide what stones they want to use, use their metal, and we'll make you know, a ring, a pendant, or a bunch of different pieces out of that. Uh, custom work is a pretty easy process and quick. It takes less than 10 days. What we do, we'll make a uh, counter sketch, and from there we'll make a wax so the customer can actually see the ring, feel it. Then if they make any tweaks, we can do it there then we'll cast it and set our stone. So it's an easy process, and the best part, it's really no more than buying something out of the showcase, but this way you get exactly what you want. So if someone had an engagement ring and maybe they couldn't find a wedding band off the shelf, so to speak, would they be able to come into Herzog and have that custom made? Yes, they can. We actually do that a lot. A lot of people can't find a matching wedding band to the ring, or they don't like the one that's made for it. Uh, I said it's an easy process. Um, most are fitted. Most people love the way it turns out. They get exactly what they wanted and always dreamt of. How can people get in touch with you to learn more about the services that Herzog offers? Well, the best way to be stop and see us, we're at 2510 Dixie Highway, a corner of Buttermilk and Dixie or next to the Greyhound restaurant. They can always call us at 331-4653 or our website has a lot of information. It's uh, HerzogJewelers.com. Great. Ted, thank you so much for telling us about Herzog Jewelers. I've really enjoyed learning about it. We'll be back with our health and wellness segment. How do you get a jump on better health care? You start early. You build expertise and technology. Dedicate yourself to integrity. At St. Elizabeth, we're defining the future of health care for Northern Kentucky and beyond. Because tomorrow's an opportunity, so we're starting early. Just like we did today. St. Elizabeth Healthcare, the best of what's human and humanly possible. Sooner or later, it's going to hit you that you have to save for your retirement. Do you know how much you'll need? It's easy to figure out. And the choice is clear. For a happy ending, choose to save. Save? Welcome back, and thanks for staying tuned to Leading Businesses, Leading Communities. Our health and wellness segment is sponsored by Humana. Humana offers a wide range of insurance products and health and wellness solutions for employers and individuals. Humana has learned people are in better health when they are active and engaged in their social lives, community, and family. Humana helps people achieve lifelong well-being by offering products and programs that meet an individual's physical, social, and emotional needs. Northern Kentucky Chamber members received preferred pricing on Humana's medical, dental, vision, and life products. Contact your health benefits broker for more information or visit Humana.com. With me today is Edward Dobrikowski, System Director, Rehabilitation Services at St. Elizabeth Healthcare. Ed, welcome to the show. Thank you, Debbie. It's great to be here. Well, we're glad to have you. Tell me, what are rehabilitation services? Re rehabilitation services is comprised of occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech language pathology, audiology, athletic training services, and our sports medicine services also includes primary care sports medicine with a uh, physician. At each of our locations, they vary the types of services that are available. 
uh, we attempt to have very qualified and have a, an extremely experienced staff which provide these uh, services. And in each location there may be additional niche uh, services uh, that are provided. Tell me, I see you have some new centers open, a total joint and a spine center. Tell me more about those. That's correct. Uh, we're very excited with the new total joint center in Edgewood in the, in the hospital. It took an existing program and brought it to a new level of success and reinvented the process of healthcare delivery from the preoperative phase where education goes on both with prospective patients and their families and, and the uh, pathways that, un that are undergone at the hospital itself. We have a brand new 2,000 square foot exercise area used by our therapists so, so there is the uh, top of the line equipment and, and staff to, to treat people um, who are undergoing elective total joint replacements such as uh, hip and knee replacements. Who should be seeing some of your specialists? Patients who've, who've lost function in some, in some fashion. For example, in the new spine center that just opened in Florence, uh, patients who have had a chronic condition and maybe aren't getting the results that they want. They've lost function, they're in pain, uh, they have some other trauma or injury and need to return to their former life and, and therapists are trained specialists in helping people regain their function whether it's to normal activities of, of life, to work and to recreation and play and sports activities. Do you need a referral to see one of your specialists? Um, legally there isn't a referral needed for most areas of, of rehabilitation services in the uh, insurance uh, business in most cases it's required uh, in order for the services to have have reimbursement for for them but legally there isn't that obligation great well thank you so much for being with us today Ed we will take a short break and when we come back we will wrap up this edition of leading businesses leading communities so don't go away When you think about it, courage is a muscle. You gotta keep it strong, build it up, because you'd be surprised what that muscle can do. At St. Elizabeth Healthcare, orthopedics is designed to return your body to where it used to be, and even better, so you can feel confident again, physically and mentally able, getting you back to the things you love. St. Elizabeth Healthcare, the best of what's human and humanly possible. Folks, that's about all the time we have for today. I'd like to thank our guests from the business focus segment of today's program. Dr. Charles Breen, Paul Alley with Graydon Head, Michael Dempsey with Robert W. Baird, and Don Fritz with Devon Lehman and Company, and Ted Kester with Herzog Jewelers. And for our health and wellness segment, Edward Dobrakowski, System Director, Rehabilitation Professional Services from St. Elizabeth Healthcare. Finally, we thank our title sponsor, St. Elizabeth Healthcare, and our friends right here at Insight who co-produced this program with us. The Northern Kentucky Chamber of Commerce provides unique opportunities for businesses by creating a climate for growth and success. Our members make a difference by connecting to important business, civic, and community priorities through the Chamber. We invite you to have your business showcased right here on our show. Please contact the Chamber for more information. You can also follow us on Twitter at NKY Chamber. All businesses are invited to join the Northern Kentucky Chamber by visiting our website at www.nkychamber.com or just call us at 859-578-8800. Thanks for watching Leading Businesses, Leading Communities. We'll see you next time. You've been watching Leading Businesses, Leading Communities, a presentation of the Northern Kentucky Chamber of Commerce in partnership with Insight, sponsored by St. Elizabeth Healthcare. For more information about this program or to join the Northern Kentucky Chamber of Commerce, please call 859-578-8800 or visit www.nkychamber.com. <laughs>